Good morning, my friends. It's Thursday, April 29th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun, Kate. And my little cat is ready to go outside. Yes, okay, here we go. And I have with me this beautiful icon that helps me pray. All those animals flocking to Jesus as he blesses them reminds me of St. Francis. We continue this morning in Paul's uh, letter to the Colossians. And Paul talks about, um, there are a lot of teachers that are coming in trying to teach the Colossians about complex rituals and worshiping other gods and that they should do this or do that. And Paul says, you know, the message of Jesus is so simple. You're already loved. You've been accepted. But this message is so simple that people find it hard to follow because we kind of think things ought to be complicated. We think we ought to have a maze of duties to do in order to earn God's love. We've got to figure it out. You know, what are we supposed to be doing? We must not be loved. We can't possibly be loved till we try all these weird um, things to do to earn God's love. Well, God's love is so profound and we could never earn it. It was given to us as a gift. They call that the good news. And the good news is really hard to swallow because in essence, it's somehow too easy for us to believe. God couldn't be that generous. God couldn't just give us entrance into the kingdom right now. We're not worthy, we're too messed up. We have to do stuff. We have to get better, get stronger, get fitter. That's what we think. God says, no, you're already there. Just wake up and look. I years ago knew a mathematician. He would be working on these complex problems and he'd go to bed. He'd just go to sleep, not solving the problem, not being able to find the answer. And somewhere in the middle of the night, he would say that it was, it was like the pieces of a puzzle came together. And the solution was so beautiful and so simple. And it was right there in front of him the whole time. But he, he was so hell-bent on solving it himself and figuring it out that he missed its simple elegance. The good news is kind of like that. We make it too hard. <laughs> we make it too complicated. Go outside and look at a flower. And it's so beautiful and it's made for you. And you didn't earn it. And we don't deserve it. It's a gift. It's so simple and so beautiful that we find it hard to swallow because we want to make our salvation. We want to do it ourselves. We think we ought to somehow merit it, earn it, organize it, Fix it. You were given it just like a baby is given a bottle. You didn't do anything. It's just because God loves you and wants to hold you. Now be quiet and believe it. <laughs> and then you know what the funny thing is? We end up doing great things, not because we're trying to earn God's love, but because we're so happy we already have it. And the things that we do are so much more joyful and free if we truly understand the nature of God's love and, and of salvation. We're generous because God has been generous. We're good because God has given good. We do beautiful, wonderful things because God does those things. Not because we're trying to earn anything, but just because we want to play and thank God for this incredible life. Richard Rohr says in his book, The Naked Now. Once you wake up to this truth, this simple, beautiful gift that is the kingdom right in front of you, 
your life becomes a love song. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for the people of Colossae that wanted to make things more complicated than they really were and wanted a lot of instructions when they didn't need any. Thank you for the simple truth of your love. Thank you for its graciousness, beauty, and elegance. Help us to now go forward trusting that you're there and living our lives with that knowledge, that strength, that power, to be forces for good because you are good. Bless the sick, Lord. Bless the dying, those who are hungry. Bless this world, especially India, as they battle the COVID virus. Bless the nations. Bless this country as we seek to understand and have compassion for one another. Guide us in all that we do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you and have a great day.